So let's talk about the development of the cells that are in the blood. This is called hematopoiesis. Hematopoiesis. And this takes place usually in the bone marrow in adults. In the fetus, when it's developing, it can take place in the liver, but by the end of development, it, it shifts to, the, to primarily the bones. Now I'm going to presume and make an assumption that, that we're all a little familiar with some of the cell types. And what we're going to talk about here is more the development and the progression and differentiation um, into the different kind of blood, blood cells um, in the body. So it, everything starts with a stem cell. It starts with a stem cell. And a stem cell actually can also, in this case, in the case of hematopoiesis, be called a colony forming cell. So we have this colony forming cell, which is the stem cell for all of hematopoiesis. And the differentiation, the, the changing and, and evolution of cells into different subtypes happens not, not in a straightforward way. It's more of a sort of continuum. So I'm going to illustrate this with dots as if there's a progression moving forward. Now eventually there's a, a split and the split primarily is between the myeloid cells in the blood and the lymphoid cells. And not surprisingly, there are a couple integral cells that we know of that we refer to as the, this one is the common myeloid precursor. And this one is the common lymphoid precursor. So these precursors also go through a, a process of differentiation. And we'll just draw them here. And let's start with let's start with this cell up here. So from the common myeloid precursor we get all of the granulocytes. So granulocyte, 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 and granulocyte. And not surprisingly, this cell here is referred to as, so instead of colony forming cell, these are referred to as colony forming units. So I'll abbreviate that CFU, and the type is GM for granulocyte. Now, what are the granulocytes exactly? Let's remind ourselves. This includes the basophils and the neutrophils and the eosinophils, the mast cells, and the monocytes. So that, those are the granulocytes. The common myeloid precursor also differentiates into red blood cells and megakaryocytes. I'm going to abbreviate this RBC for red blood cells and then megakaryocyte. Sorry, that's a little bit sloppy there. Now the megakaryocyte and the red blood cell are derived from a similar source that comes from the common myeloid precursor, and that is the also colony forming unit, but in this case it's EMK. So that's the myeloid branch of hematopoiesis. Now the lymphoid branch of hematopoiesis leads to the lymphoid cells or the lymphocytes. Let's remind ourselves what the lymphocytes are. They're T cells 
and B cells and NK cells. And that is what's represented here with three, these three pathways. So this, this picture overall here is a rough idea of the hematopoietic pathways that both include the myeloid and the lymphoid cells that make up all of the cells in the blood. Now there's one quick other point I want to talk about, which is the dendritic cell. The dendritic cell. Dendritic cell is interesting because it can be derived both or either from the CFUGM cell, which is down the myeloid pathway, or the common lymphoid precursor, which is down the lymphoid pathway. The dendritic cell is a cell that that's, seems to be studied a lot these days in different research projects. So it'll be interesting to see uh, what other features the dendritic cell has besides um, this, this place in hematopoiesis.